Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. This is Mary with Mama Bear Prepper. I am back to do another prepping on a budget video. As you know, if you watch any other videos in this series, I try to stay around the $10 mark. I feel that is a reasonable price that many people can do weekly or bi-weekly. It's up to you guys. And this week, I'm, I'm going to continue focusing on cravings, okay? And for me and my daughter, it's just me and my daughter here, we crave Spanish food all the time. We can never seem to get enough of it, okay? <laughs> so in an SHTF situation, I want Spanish food. My daughter will want Spanish food. Um, we're going to get tired of spaghetti and red beans and rice and, you know, stuff like that. So we want to make sure we have a variety that's going to satisfy our cravings and not make us go insane. <laughs> okay, so what I have here is a few items I picked up at Walmart. Everything came from Walmart. All the prices are from Walmart. And I'm going to show you each item, how much it costs, and then I'm going to give you seven, seven meal ideas that you could do with this, okay? So... I can't wait. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I got here is some instant corn masa flour. This is $2.37. I got a can of the Great Value refried beans, and this cost $0.88. Cents. I got a can of this premium cheddar cheese by Rico's, um, $1.84 a can of the Great Value Tomato Salsa, and that was $0.98. Cents. Um, a small pack of the Chicken Flavor Boulon Cubes. There's eight cubes in here for $0.78. Cents. One can of this small, let's see, five-ounce Sweet Sioux Chunk White Chicken in the can. That was $1.08. Um... A can of this Goya red kidney beans for $1.22. And a can of the old El Paso red enchilada sauce for $1.62. My total comes to $10.77. Okay, so I have these ingredients here. And with these ingredients, I can come up with seven meal ideas that I know me and my daughter love. The first one is tortilla chips, okay? <laughs> what you're going to do is you have your bag of corn masa flour. Make your tortillas, how it shows on the directions on the back. All you need to make tortillas with this, by the way, is water. Very simple and easy, okay? Make your tortillas. Then from your tortillas, you're going to fry your tortillas. And let me just stop right here real quick and tell you guys, um, with prepping every week, you should have other items that you can also incorporate into this, like vegetable oil, in order to fry your tortillas to make tortilla chips. So I just want to put that little disclaimer there that um, before somebody says, well, you didn't show the vegetable oil that you bought. No, I did not. You should already have that. We're talking about cravings now. You should already have your very basic items. That means your bag of rice. Look, rice. Um, this should be like the number one thing you should have bought already is rice. So I'm not going to really put rice in my $10 weekly budget hauls anymore because y'all, that should be like the first thing you bought and stocked up on, okay? And also bags of red kidney beans like this. Another thing, you should really have plenty, plenty, plenty of by now. Okay, I'm just going to throw that out there. So, I'm not going to add these into my $10 weekly hauls anymore. This should be something you should already have along with, you know, your sugar, your vegetable oil, seasonings, you know, stuff like that. So, we're moving on to like cravings and things that we already have on hand to go with this. So let me get back to the video. We're gonna make our tortillas. You need water, okay? You should have your little stockpile of water or know where you can get fresh water if there's any lakes by you. 
ponds, bayou, rivers, and you need to know how to filter that water <laughs> and purify it. Okay, so we're gonna make our tortillas, fry our tortillas, and then we'll have tortilla chips. And then with tortilla chips, we can use our tomato salsa to dip it in, our cheese sauce, or bean dip. Refry beans, just use it like a bean dip, okay? So we have three dippings here that we could do with those tortillas, the tortilla chips. And also with having these three dips in tortilla chips that you know how to make now, you can also do not just you know chips and dip, but you could do like a loaded nachos, okay? And we can do that by just piling on the salsa, the cheese, the beans on a plate of you know tortilla chips. But also um, think of if you're having if you're growing. A vegetable garden this year you might be growing tomatoes you might be growing um lettuce you could throw that on there and also you have a can of chicken you could cook some of this chicken and put it on your plate of loaded nachos and that alone will fill you up very much so with all your dips your chicken the chips um it might not be the healthiest thing but y'all when those cravings hit, you go, you're going to want those comfort foods in an SHTF situation or whatever it is. So that's one idea. Number two is quesadillas. Make your tortillas, okay? You got your tortillas. You got some cheese sauce right here. And then you got a can of chicken. You could just do cheese quesadillas or you could do cheese and chicken quesadillas. So that's meal number two. Meal number three is tacos. Um, make your tortillas. <laughs> okay, most of these are going to start off by making your tortillas. So you're going to want to make your tortillas. You got um, your can of chicken. So instead, if you don't have um, any kind of ground beef or if you don't have any canned ground beef, if, you're, if you do your own canning, you can make chicken tacos. You know, get your chicken. Use a chicken bouillon cube to season it, you know, give it some of that seasoning. Put it on your tortilla. Um, put some salsa, cheese on it, even some refried beans. That's good on tacos too, y'all. And also, like I said, if you have your garden and you're growing fresh tomatoes and lettuce and onions, that is so great to be growing. So you can incorporate those ingredients into all of this. Um, yes, yeah, I can't stress that enough, you guys, is to have a garden, even if it's just some pots in your backyard, if you live in an apartment and you happen to have a little balcony or a small backyard, um, you can grow it in pots, get some big pots and just, you know, do it like that. I've done it and I still do it. I have my raised garden beds that I have and then... I also like to plant um, my tomato plants and some other items in those big Home Depot or Lowe's five-gallon buckets. Um, Y'all, I love using those buckets for big pots to use for my tomatoes and stuff like that. Um, this year, when I'm going to do my gardening, I will show you how I do my garden. Um, I do have two videos out from the previous two years that... We'll show you that if you're interested. You can go back into my videos and look for that. But yeah, so having your vegetable garden and growing your tomatoes, lettuce, and onions, just even those three, can bring all of your other meals to a whole new level. It will really ramp it up a lot. Meal number four, um, you could do, okay, like I said, you should already have rice stockpile. Make you a side of rice. You can season that rice with your chicken bouillon cubes, give it some flavor. Or I didn't put this in my $10 budget, but y'all, if you know, a lot of people could do more than $10, and I just want to show you an idea here, is to have this Goya Sofrito Tomato Cooking Base. This has green peppers, onions, cilantro, and garlic in olive oil. And y'all, this is great for rice, beans, soups, chili, and stews. This, um, really good. I like to use this when I'm cooking and it just 
brings so much flavor because it has all these other ingredients. In case if you don't have your garden yet and you can't add all these fresh ingredients like peppers, onions, and garlic to spice up your food, um, having a tomato cooking base like this will bring your food a long, long ways in taste, okay? So you could either use that in your rice or you could use a chicken bouillon. And then you could have a side of beans, either your refried beans or beans like this. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the canned beans that's already cooked. Just in case if you're, you're, you don't have much time, but you need a good filling meal. These are already cooked. You can eat them right out of the can or you could heat them up. And also you can add seasoning to this. You could add a chicken bouillon cube to that. So you have your rice, a plate of your rice. You have a plate of your beans. And also what I want to throw out there, you guys, is if you can raise your own chickens, you might have fresh eggs. Um, that would be something I would love to do one day when I have um, some property of my own is to raise chickens and have those fresh eggs because... That would be a true blessing in an SHTF situation is to have chickens to eventually eat, but until you eat them, they're going to be laying you some fresh eggs. So that is really, really awesome. So you'll have your plate of rice, beans, um, fresh eggs. If you have chickens to lay your eggs, um, if you're raising chickens, and you can have a plate of chicken out of the can if uh, you don't have no chickens to kill yet and eat. But um, yeah, so I'll give you a plate of food right there. And what some Spanish people do, they would make their plate like that, like how I just kind of described. And then they would have their tortillas that they freshly made. You know, they make the best tortillas. Um, Cause they, they know how to make those tortillas really good by just slapping it on their hand like that. They don't use that tortilla press I have one of those tortilla presses, and I'll show you that in one video. But um, they make the best professional-looking tortillas ever. So they would take their tortilla, you know, tear off. They usually don't make, like, a taco-like tortilla. What they do is they tear it off, and they have their little piece of tortilla, and they go on their plate, and they take a little bit of beans, a little bit of rice, a little bit of eggs, and that's their bite. That's how they eat. So you could do that. That's another really good meal right there that would fill you up and gives you a little bit of variety on your plate. Okay. Meal number five, tostadas. If I'm saying that right, tostadas. Okay, so you're going to have your whole tortilla that you made that you already cooked. The whole tortilla that you made, you're going to fry that whole tortilla. And then you're going to use that as a base to layer on some refried beans some cheese, some salsa, some chicken. Also, like I said, if you have a garden, you can add your shredded lettuce, onions, and tomatoes. If that is something you are growing in your garden, and I highly recommend you to have a garden. So that's meal number five. Meal number six would be enchiladas. Make your tortillas, cook your tortillas, okay? Then you're going to put on a layer of your enchilada sauce on the tortilla. Um, put down the middle, so, uh, a layer of chicken down the middle. Roll it up. Put it, I don't know in what kind of SHTF situation you might be in. If you have power or not. But if you do have power or if you have one of those um, camping ovens. Which I am saving up. Uh, I'm saving up for a lot of stuff. But... I'm saving up for one of those to have because you could cook, use this, use this little camping oven hooked up to a bottle of propane and you could bake stuff with that. So if you have that, that'd be awesome to use with your preps if you don't have power, if this is a situation where you don't have power. So make your tortillas like that, roll them up. I mean, your enchiladas with the sauce and the chicken in it, roll it up, put another layer of your enchilada sauce on top of your enchiladas um, and either before or after you could put some of your cheese on it and that's a whole meal right there um, it might not be uh, exactly how they have it in the Mexican restaurants but in those desperate times that is gonna be an awesome 
meal to have, okay? Meal number seven is a breakfast burrito. Um, cook your uh, cook your tortillas, of course. And this one is mostly if you do have those chickens you're raising and they're laying you eggs every day. Have your tortillas, have your fresh eggs. If you have chickens, that's laying eggs, okay? Um, and then you could layer on some salsa, tomato salsa, and a little bit of cheese. Um, and that's your breakfast burrito. Eggs on your, you have your tortilla with eggs, your cheese, salsa, and maybe if you want, you could even throw in some of this chicken. So that's seven meals that I just shared with you guys. I hope this helps somebody. I hope it gives you, gives you some ideas. Um, if there's something in here you don't like and you know you don't like, y'all, I'm not saying buy it. I'm just giving you ideas. Um, so I really hope this helps somebody. I really have fun making these videos and coming up with stuff. Um, yeah, so that's seven ideas. And y'all, it's always, always good to plan your meals. Plan, plan, plan. I just cannot say this enough. And it will really help you in those desperate times. Um, like a good friend of mine um, and subscriber of mine, Mr. Jerry, he says, people don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. And that is so, so true, you guys. So true. People don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. So I'm going to leave, with, leave that with you. Um, hopefully that's something that will go over in your head. And sit down with some paper and pen and plan out what you know you and your family like. Come up with some, with some meal ideas. Buy enough of those ingredients. Say if you want to have a stockpile for one month or three months, okay? And you want that meal once a week. Write down a list of your meals and then write down how many of each item you would need to feed your family that meal once a week for one month or three months or however long you're thinking of. Um, that's something I like to do and I highly recommend that because that is so helpful. It's one thing to have it in your head, but to have it on paper is so much better, you guys, because you won't forget about it. And writing on a paper, seeing it down on paper, y'all, it also helps trigger more ideas and things you might not have thought of, thought of unless you've seen it on paper. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm rambling on too much. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Share this video with your friends or family members that prep or you're trying to get them to prep. Please, by all means, share my video with them if you think it would help them. So I just want to thank you guys and take care.